Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. I'm going to be started on the weeklies as soon as I get done these monthlies. So I am going to be doing weeklies. Um, so what do we have for Sagittarius for at any time in December? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. December. One card. Oh, I'll take this one. Ooh, Ace of Wands. So it says passion ignited. So now this can go a couple different ways. Ace of Wands can be passionate love or passionate hate. Okay, it's passion either way. Um, on fire. It looks like this person, um, it's passion, it's passion within, feeling very passionate, feeling very um, ambitious about something. Um, very, very warm energy too. It's like warm, uh, high vibrational. You may be vibrating at a very high level this month and putting out a warm energy. It is you know, it is your season. It is your season. And I feel like people are going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to your energy by the looks of things. Aces are new beginnings. So you do have a new beginning of some sort here. Um, and when you get the Ace of Wands, just go for it. Okay? You may get some sort of sudden desire as well. Something could happen all of a sudden um, that makes you feel all warm inside. Really, really warm. You may be looking really, really, really good during this time as well. People are probably very attracted to you. Okay? You're being, you're looking very attractive. Put it that way. So... Um, People, all eyes are probably going to be on you. People are going to be like, w I think they're going to be like, w I was going to say, wow, wow. So I think people are going to be wowed by your, I don't know, uh, attractiveness. You know, there's something about you that is very, very uh, magnetic. That's the way I feel. Interesting. So what do we have for Sagittarius on fire? Uh magnetic pull of some sort. People are definitely going to be drawn to you. Two of coins, two of pentacles. Um, busy, 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 busy. I think that you're going to be busy. I think that you're going to be going back and forth. You're going to have a lot on your plate. Um, I feel as though, uh, you're going to have options. You're going to be, you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt to some sort of change this month. There is going to be a change of some sort that you are going to need to adapt to. And you, things may seem chaotic. Okay. I feels like you're going to be put in the hot seat too, as well. Uh, you know, people, everybody may be saying, hey, hey, whatever your name is, come over here, come over here, come over here. You know, you're going to be pulled in many different directions. And I think that you're going to need to adapt um, and be flexible. But I, I really feel like you're going to be able to handle it well. I feel like you are very capable of handling whatever this is. You're going to have a lot on your plate. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Um... It feels like everybody's going to be demanding your attention. <laughs> be prepared. Uh, people want your attention this month. So oh, let's get these first. What do we have for Sagittarius? Um, you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be overwhelmed. Maybe by everybody, you know, wanting you to do this, wanting you to do that. We got one. We're going to you need to get another one. At least one more. Whew. I guess we'll take that one. Mule. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. No way. Ear. Good news. Some sort of good news is coming. So, <laughs> interesting. 
You may need to be a little less stubborn. You know, and don't point the finger at somebody else. That is not the case. You know I don't go for that shit. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. You, and this is interesting because this is about needing to be flexible, needing to adapt to change. The Two of Pentacles is about change. So they're in, you're going to need to make some sort of changes to be able to adapt to some sort of situation. You're, it's, there's going to be, I don't know if it's your work environment, your school environment, your home environment, or wherever you work, or I don't know, or people that you hang out with. There's going to be a change that you are going to need to adapt to, put it that way. But there is some good news that is coming, so that's fantastic. And you're going to, you're going to be hearing things as well, okay? Um, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be hearing things. And I don't mean voices or anything. You know, you may hear voices at your intuition talking to you or whatever. But I think you're going to be hearing uh, good things, whatever it is. Um, you have a very positive new beginning here because this is very positive. But there will be a change and you're going to have to be willing to let go of some the stubbornness within yourself. So, what do we have... Or, I, you know, I almost said Libra. So you may be dealing with a Libra. I don't know if you are. Or you have a lot of Libra in your chart. So what do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. Whew. Queen of Wands reversed. So there's a troublesome situation here. Yes, sir. You got a troublesome situation. There's some sort of anger. There's self-righteousness. Somebody here is self-righteous. They're very, very, very stubborn. Very, very, very stubborn. Uh, forceful. Trying to force something onto another person. They're not being practical. Not being reasonable. We have somebody here that is very entitled. Very entitled. They're not really entitled, but they think that they're entitled. Um, there's been some sort of uh, painful with that Ten of Swords, even though it's reversed. Extremely painful situation. Um, unstable, insecure, uh, not practical. I wonder if somebody's doing something illegal. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that uh, has some health issues. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Um, Whoever this, there are financial issues. This person could have financial issues. I wonder if there's some sort of stealing going on. We could have somebody that is doing something illegal and somehow you're in the mix. So beware of that. Beware of somebody doing something illegal or getting very, very upset. Somebody's going to get very upset, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, that Ten of Swords reversed is not... It's like a near-death experience or the worst has happened. There could be a relapse, you know. Um, some sort of recovery problems or a relapse or problems worsening or there's worse to come with that Ten of Swords reverse. And that's just the reality of it. And But the, with the King of Pentacles reverse, it's somebody don't want to accept reality. So reality is needed here. Somebody needs to accept reality. And I feel like uh, there's somebody that... Uh, has some chronic health problems. Somebody has some chronic health problems and I don't know if there's jealousy issues or what. Now this is you made your bed. Now you need to lie on it. It could be this person right here. You know, we got we got you and we got somebody else. So there's two people here. There's you and there is somebody else. So you're dealing with somebody that is in pain. This person is in pain. They are unstable. They are insecure. 
they are probably going to be making you mad. They may not have any money. They may have nothing of value to offer. They may steal. They may uh, do things illegally to obtain money or just uh, this person has a big ego. They're very, very shallow and I feel like they're going to piss you off. I feel like they're going to piss you off in some way. They're going to make you very upset. They're going to make you mad. So be prepared for that. Um, because of the Queen of Wands. They may put you down all the time. Whoever this person is may put you down, you know. They may say, they try to they try to dim your confidence. They try to dim your fire. You're glowing, right? You're glowing. You're on fire. you got a lot of passion, you know. But somebody is trying, it's almost like they're trying to put your fire out. They're jealous of you. You do got somebody here that is jealous of you. I know that you do. They're jealous of how capable you are. You are so, I can see that you are. Um, you handle so many responsibilities at one time. Um, or you handle so many situations you're able to. Um, but that Queen of Wands reverse, that's, if that's your energy, would it, I would guess that it is. That is uh, getting really pissed, you know. Um, maybe even acting revengeful. So be careful. This is this is unhealthy. The the Queen of Wands reversed is unhealthy. It's unhealthy behavior. It's acting in revenge. Okay? And lying. So I don't know if it's you or somebody else, but um hmm. Yeah, there's there's a Thinking about going someplace else, is it worth staying here? You may be thinking about that. You may be contemplating, you know. Should I continue to uh, try to make this work or should I go someplace else? Is this a dead end? Maybe that's what you're thinking. Or somebody that you're dealing with is thinking that. Um, there's an unhappy situation. This party is over. Okay, this is nothing to celebrate. Somebody could be going overboard. They're celebrating and, you know, they relapse. Maybe they don't even wake up. I'm just being honest with you. With that Ten of Swords reverse, this could be, you know, it's definitely unhappy. Okay, somebody, and it could be a person. Somebody is not happy. They're in a lot of pain. They feel like they've been stabbed in the back. And they're thinking about, I don't know what they're thinking about, but they're thinking of either you or them. That somebody has been stabbed in the back by another individual because we definitely have two individuals here. One of these people has no isn't stable. They're not maybe they're not mentally stable. You know, they're not mentally stable. Now there's they're very, very unhappy over a separation. This is very messy. It's very, very messy. There's been a lot of partying, there's been a lot of uh having fun, but that's over. That's over. The honeymoon is over. The party is over. This is a messy situation and it's uh, not fun anymore. It's definitely not fun anymore. So this is thinking about relocating, thinking about going someplace. What should I do? There could You may have a lack of confidence in yourself because of another person that uh, brought you to your knees, that brought you down, that stabbed you in the back. You may be feeling that way. You may be feeling, you know, like you can't trust anybody, you know. Um, you may have been in a situation or somebody may be in a situation where it nearly, you know, it's a near-death experience or it nearly killed them or something. I'm just being honest with you. Anyhow, this Queen of Wands reversed is, uh, unfortunately, it is an energy of, very, very upset, throwing a tantrum, uh, throwing a fit, uh, not getting, not getting your way. Somebody may not be getting their way. They're not, and they're not being, um, treated in a healthy manner. This is very unhealthy. Okay. Now this is weakness. So you may be feeling weak. You may be you may need to find some strength. You may need to find some courage. There's frustrations here. I mean that you're going to be frustrated. That is your energy and the Queen of Wands in reversed is upset and frustrated and unbalanced and not allowing, not accepting, having a hard time accepting change, angry. 
So that you may some you may or somebody may get angry over, you know, some sort of betrayal. There could be a betrayal here with that ten of swords. But this is thinking about relocating, thinking about going someplace else. Should you continue to invest or stay where you're at? Is there any growth left there? Is it over? It looks like it's over to me because right next to that is the Ten of Swords. That's a completion. And it's been painful. It's been really, really, really painful. I feel like there's something coming back around that you may have thought was over, but it's not over. Four of Cups. Very, very stubborn energy. Choosing to ignore something. Somebody is choosing to ignore. There's an opportunity. It's like somebody is being an offered an opportunity for love, but they can't see it. They cannot see it at all. They can't see that there's, that there's love around them. And they're so distraught. So we have somebody that is very, very distraught. They're not realizing that. They're not realizing that there's that there's love, that there's love around them. All they can do is focus on a parting, parting of ways. All they can focus on is hurt. Somebody needs to be focusing on love instead of hate. And it's interesting because I said that's passionate love or hate. Now that Ace of Cups reverse is tears, it's sadness. It's emotional blockage. Somebody isn't. They're too stubborn. They're so hard headed. You're dealing with somebody that is very, 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 very hard headed. You know, I, it feels like it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to, or another fire sign. It's either a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's definitely some sort of sadness here. If you take a look at this lineup right here. I mean, that's sadness. That's tears. That's uh, the end of a happy, was happy at one time. It was fun, but it isn't fun anymore. It's just uh, emotional shutdown, you know. Emotions all over the place. We have somebody that is thinks that nobody loves them but there is somebody that loves them but they don't think that anybody loves them and I feel like this person is going to react from their pain you know that's what I think so I don't know how you are involved with this but um, somebody has been missing an opportunity they have they've been missing an opportunity because that is the ace of cups they haven't even been giving it a thought. They've been too focused on a third party. Too focused. I don't know if it may be Amy. Maybe we may even have a drinking problem here. Um, somebody just has not been able to see something. They've been in. They've been in denial. Very stubborn. Stubborn, and and, and that's the thing. It's extreme stubbornness. It really is. Take a look at this. I mean, that is extreme stubbornness. And with that mule card, I mean, come on now. You know, so we definitely have... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, it could definitely be you. Anyhow. There's a need to consider something. Consider another option. <laughs> This is broaden your horizons. You are going to be given an opportunity to go down a new path. That is exactly what this is. The page of pentacles is a message. It's a messenger. Okay. So there's a message coming that is very, that could lead to something solid state. It's an offer of some sort. Okay. That's a golden opportunity right there. It is. Somebody has a golden opportunity to go down a new path. But it's not going to be easy. So you're going to be given an opportunity. But if, you, if you're resisting change and you're going to continue to be overwhelmed in the situation you're in, well, then there's consequences for that. It won't be practical. 
Anyway, I feel like you're going to be given an opportunity that... Uh, and I feel like you missed this opportunity before or you didn't see it before. It was there. It's been there. This opportunity has been there, but you haven't been giving it any thought. Now it's time to give it a thought. This is going down a new path that could lead to long-term stability. You may be in a place where there's no money. There's no stability. I know I'm changing it a little bit. You're just getting enough to survive. There is another opportunity where you can start from scratch and you can build yourself up and you can build yourself up to abundance with hard work and the um, desire to learn new things because this is learning new, learning a new trade, learning new things, you know, being open to the possibilities. But this stubbornness that we have here could keep you down. Okay, could keep you suffering, could keep you on the ground, could keep you in lack. You know, if you want to continue to cry about things, no offense or anything, or mope or not be able to master your emotions and get angry and upset, but not do anything about it. And I'm not saying that you're not, but I'm just saying then, you know, whose fault is that? There is another opportunity here, but it will require you to work, 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 work. And you're going to have to put in effort. You're going to have to put in effort. And you have to choose because the two of coins is about choices. It really is. You're going to have to choose one or the other. You can't do both. You don't have enough. Well, maybe you don't have enough stamina to do both. Maybe it's killing you. Maybe it's, and, and maybe it is killing you. Like it, it is, you know, it looks like you, you need to choose one. You need to choose one path, not two. Okay, to be successful, you gotta you gotta make a choice. You gotta stick with it. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that excites you? What is it that you want to do? What is it that your gut, your intuition tells you that you need to do? Choose that option. You're definitely gonna be given an opportunity to broaden your horizons, but you are going to need your your backbone. Okay, you're gonna need your backbone to do what's right for you, and don't. And you're gonna need self confidence, and you're gonna need self discipline, and you're gonna need to uh, find your strength and your willpower and your courage to have faith. You need to have faith in your own abilities. So that's a, that's an issue here. If you don't have faith in your own abilities and and you feel like if you're if you're very worried about money. So we have we also have somebody here that's worried about money. You know, you have enough to survive. You you will continue to have enough to survive. But you you are being called to just take a leap of faith, honestly. You really are. I don't need the full card. I can tell. You are being called to just go with what what you want to do. Just do it. The Ace of Wands is just do it. This is an exciting opportunity that you are going to be given this month, but it is going to require hard work. So you be prepared to receive an offer or a message from somebody. And it will, off, it, this, whatever this is, it will probably, you know, ask you to step outside of your comfort zone, you know, or ask you to make a choice, you know. If you choose this option, you're going to have to let something else go. You know, it's another responsibility or something that you have taken on. You're going to have to let it go. It's just going to be like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. I, I've chosen this path. So it's one or the other. And that is the way it goes with the two of pentacles. You can't, going overboard is just going to cause too much chaos. Trying to do too much is, is just not working out. One or the other. Now, when you the two of pentacles, this is about an alignment, okay? It's like there, there's an earthly power larger than yourself, okay, that is giving you a choice. Do you want to go down this path or do you want to go down this path? You can't juggle both for very long. You can't. It's not practical. It's not going to happen. So anyway, um, you have to make a choice. Go after whatever it is that you're passionate about. Because that is where the growth is going to happen. This is both. That's where the growth is going to happen. And this may be some sort of relocation. I feel like it is. So anyway, Sagittarius. Uh, it looks like December you're going to be getting an offer that you've 
passed up before or you've been thinking about it you know it's been crossing your mind but you've been ignoring it you know or you're gonna or maybe you just decide to go down this path if it's not an offer maybe you're just deciding you've been thinking about it on your own but there's so much stubbornness here no 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 yes just do it good luck don't forget to hit subscribe and that little notification bell to hear more.